Okay. I'm at a different location. Excuse the children. Let me close the door to see if that will reduce it. Better. Okay. Uh, hi guys, it's Nommy Nom Noms. I think I'm going to change it to Nommies because I like it and it's quicker. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, that makes sense. I started my second video. I'm going to go through my nose because I can't speak. I can't do free speaking. So, shush. If you see my introduction video, I do reviews, commentary, ranting. What was my four hours again? Uh, review. Review, reflect, react. Ah, yeah, I remember. Rant, review, react, and then reflection. Um, if you guys don't remember, if you don't get the little inside joke we have now is in the first video so right so if you see the title of this video you kind of understand what I'm going to talk about so let me just start from the very beginning just kind of like so I was going through TikTok and I saw this is there anyone else here who's fake bilingual by that I mean you're probably raised in a second generation immigrant household and you understand every word of the mother tongue but it's not your mother tongue and you can't speak it and then it means that you've inherited all these hand gestures for a language that you don't actually speak and I was like, damn, you too. And it reminded me of when my friend suddenly called me and started complaining about how so many Nigerians, Niger Nigerian aunties in particular, no hate, but it's you mainly you guys, but he, um, he was complaining about how many people would go after him for not speaking Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba fluently. And I was also like, damn you too okay so for those who don't understand as a yoruba girl who doesn't speak yoruba whenever i go and see families and i talk to people and in uk and in nigeria and i don't speak yoruba i speak english i slightly understand in fact i understand yoruba well if you at least add one or two english words but if I don't speak Yoruba, they say, why don't you speak Yoruba? <laughs> what, you, you're a Nigerian girl, you're a Yoruba person, why don't you speak Yoruba? Now, and seriously, sometimes I also do wish why I don't speak Yoruba, but then I look back at how I grew up. We moved from London, we went to a very predominantly white town. Me and my sister, my twin sister, we were the only black girls until I think like year four or so, year four, year five, I can't remember particularly, but it was around that time. So we pretty much grew up with all these white children. And at that time we didn't see the need to speak Yoruba at all, or we didn't have anyone to talk about our culture. However, we did have a friend who was in year six when we were reception who pretty much adopted us and who she was also Nigerian. So apart from that, she was the only other black Nigerian in particular person in our school and even then she was in year six we didn't we couldn't talk to her all the time but we had to be in our own age group that's pretty much our situation in primary school we didn't have the use to speak Yoruba and whenever we come back home it was either that our mum was coming back home late from work our dad's coming back home late or we had babysitters or our aunts taking care of us and usually at that time we had to do our work or we just played and we didn't really use that time to speak Yoruba. Now, after that, we went to secondary school, which was boarding school. So we couldn't speak to our parents. There wasn't any chance to speak Yoruba. And that was the same with my friend who came over to Rand. I'm not sure about primary school, but in secondary school, he was in a boarding school. So he had no possible way to speak Yoruba unless they had it as a language option in secondary school, which would be really cool. At first, my mum was like, oh, you need to learn Yoruba. And even now that she gives us Yoruba words to learn, but after I gave her my side, it's easier to learn at a young age. I don't know, I'm not a very quick learner. It's not the same with everyone, but my mum my mom accepted that and she now stands up for me. She tries to explain my side saying, hey, um, she grew up pretty much around English speaking people, like almost 24 seven. Now, the other thing about Yoruba language is my accent. So, as you can tell, I am very British and I sometimes am a bit too posh when I speak. So, even when I speak my 
normal name, it sounds weird. Now, I did a little bit of research, at least I want to know why my accent won't work for Yoruba. So I learned that um, Yoruba is a tonal language, so it consists of low, mids and highs in the order of Do, Re, Mi, as in Do, Re, Mi, with the lows being Do, mids being Re, and highs being Mi. Some vowels in the Yoruba language also depend on the tone you say in, like normal English language as well. I guess when you say question, your voice will be higher. When it's lower, it doesn't really sound like you're saying a question. So if I said, can I go to the market? Or I'm going to the market. Very, it's very complicated grammar things that I'm not going to delve deep into. That's all I know so far. There is a really good link that I'm going to put in the description where I learned most of what the tonal part is. Now, apart from the tonal language, we also got the alphabet, and there are some alphabets I can deal with, and then there are some alphabets I can't deal with. It's 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 GB GB like puts me off. Let me just show you what it's supposed to sound like according to Google. And this is how I try and say it. Be, 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 be. <laughs> I don't. I sound like a choking goat. You know what? I'm gonna get my mum to sound say it, and you'll see. You hear our comparisons. Mum. Question. So for the video, um, there was one alphabet that we always mess up. It's the G B, as in ba ba. How do you pronounce it? Ba. Okay. Just doesn't sit well with me. We don't usually say this in English language, so it literally throws me off. I am still trying to learn this word after so many years, and I still fail. And tell you the truth, it's fine because. When it comes to learning languages, you're going to have some pronunciation errors. Now, the thing that annoys me is that when I fail at saying my name because of my accent, you just drop the rose bomb, you just drop it. I don't want to say I get mocked. I can't think of the right word right now. It's like, I say something. So, I say, hi, my name is Toby. Ah, it's Toby. There was one time in Nigeria last year we were going to uh, Yaba to visit our family friends. The family friend was with my mum and she had a friend as well. Because we were speaking very English, I guess, the auntie's friend, um, she was saying, why don't you speak Yoruba? It's your mother's tongue, you came from Nigeria. Now, it's very hard to talk back to someone older than you. Me and my sister were kind of like, yeah, yeah. Um, we tried to explain, but our mum did most of the explaining. But then afterwards, she said right after saying right because you guys don't know yoruba i'm going to speak only yoruba to you and my goodness that made the whole car journey super awkward and super quiet and a lot of awkward laughing like ha 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 and because whenever she spoke in yoruba we had no clue what she was saying because like i said earlier i only understand yoruba completely when there's like a couple of like English words thrown into the sentence and then I just kind of like connect them all together like a jigsaw puzzle but she was speaking Yoruba very quickly and without any English words there's also kind of slang called Pidgin English which I understand way more so whenever people speak Yoruba and mix in a bit of Pidgin English I will still understand but this was just full on Yoruba chuck at us and that just made it awkward but also made me slightly sad that she didn't understand that when it comes to learning a language, I need to also know the English word for it as well. So luckily, um, mum and my aunt to help us translate it. That was also that was one thing, and then also the kids as well. They're they're just more brutal. With all the kids who grew up in UK, went to Nigeria, and when we said our names, not only were they after us because of our accent, they were like, no it's this and it's like why can't you say it like this as if I'm supposed to switch I can't even do a proper like German accent when I was speaking German how am I going to do Yoruba so uh, I was being petty and I said okay um, pronounce this and then I started naming northern towns I said Scarborough because I knew that one was going to be interesting and I tried to force them to say it in a northern accent and they couldn't because I don't know um, I was also told that they think there's only one accent in UK and ha ha ha, boy are they wrong. So uh, that's just pretty much the whole thing. It's literally like the idea that they just think 
that because I'm from the country, I should say it properly. And I guess that just discouraged me from speaking Yoruba more often. Now, I know it's not an excuse. I actually seen people who are not from Yoruba whatsoever and they can speak Yoruba so well, but I'm not sure how they think this is a way of encouragement. You know how people say, oh yeah, I know you can't do this. And then people say, try me, I can do this. Look, bam, I, I've just done it. What you said I couldn't do. And um, yes, it works for some people. I guess it works a lot in Nigeria. But the thing is, it's not the same method here. I feel like if you are going to meet someone new, I think it's best to encourage them instead of challenge them because you have no idea how they're going to react to whatever you say because I've heard stuff in Nigeria in which I thought they should say it differently because if they said it in UK, oh, oh boy. So, just summary, don't roast me please. <laughs> I'm sensitive. I can't break easily, but like, it, it kind of hurts. It kind of annoys me. I'm petty. I can be really petty. I will learn about everything about Yoruba history, understand Yoruba, but if you complain about my accent and how I speak Yoruba weird, I will not speak Yoruba to you. I will only understand what you say. That's how petty I can be. I don't want to do that, but I'm willing to. So recently I watched a video from Emmy Chu. She made a video not long ago talking about her identity, about her Korean American identity and man I was like damn you too. It just kind of felt like it was quite similar to what I was feeling when I was younger. So there was one line in regards to the whole language speaking that really hits home and it was, I'm gonna read it out so I'm not gonna look at the camera. It's a lot easier to learn and retain a language when it's something you're interested in learning rather than something that will make you feel like a failure if you don't progress as quickly as you should. And that really, like that, the feels, ooh. <laughs> I want to learn Yoruba, but I'm not a quick learner. I'm still learning German now and I still call myself the basic level. I'm learning Yoruba and whenever I go to Nigeria or whenever I meet people who are Nigerian, and they're like, why can't you speak Yoruba? I feel like I have a deadline because people are like, look, not looking down. I don't want to say looking down, they're not. I feel like this is a way of encouragement. Nigeria is such a cool culture. It's amazing, the different tribes. Do you know how many tribes we have? We have a lot. And, I, and I'm lucky, I'm one of the main free ones. If I was from a smaller tribe, oh my goodness, this video may go even longer. When I'm really interested in something, I may learn really quickly, but if I learn quickly, so Nigerian aunts or even young kids don't go after me for not speaking Yoruba, it just kind of stops my interest in learning and then I learn slower and then people are after me and then I get de-interested, that's not a word, I get less interested and then I learn less and I just don't learn quick enough and it becomes a visual cycle and it's bad and yeah so um, that kind of sucks whenever I hear my mum or my dad or pretty much anyone in my family speak another language that's not English I'm like oh my gosh I want to be as cool as you guys you're polygots um, and um, I want to be a polygot too because speaking more than one language is really cool plus I spent six years in a international boarding school where pretty much almost all my friends could speak another language. I love UK, I love Nigeria and now that I'm growing older and understanding more of the culture, my Nigerian culture, I'm becoming more proud to learn more about it. I watch Nollywood sometimes, I'm still trying to get through the plots, sometimes the plots throw me off. I grew up, when, whenever my parents watched Nigerian movies, I grew up with the type of Nollywood where they had such bad effect. But now they're like so much better now and some are quite interesting. So whenever I go and eat and my parents are upstairs watching shows, I just go upstairs and watch a Nollywood with them. I listen to more Afrobeat, I love Nigerian music. Every now and then I love listening to uh, videos about Nigerian history. There's so much history in Nigeria. I can't remember the video particularly. I'll put down the link. I'll put it in the link below. But 
They pretty much mentioned how we had our own renaissance before the actual renaissance. The art that we did in the past, so many years ago, is so cool and so detailed. So to the young people, don't give up. There is always someone who will encourage you and there's more and better ways to learn on the internet. To the older peoples and the aunts, Please don't discourage us. Please just say, you can do it. Oh, let me speak Yoruba to you, but I'll also translate it so you learn. Let's like, I know, I'll give you a little notebook of all the key words that you should learn. I know, be more engaging with us. I wish I learned more back in when I was younger. So, um, but now I am, so um, I'm fine with that. So yeah, I'm done. If you like this video, go and subscribe watch my other videos because well my other video I only have one and that's just me introducing myself and what I'm gonna do and 